That's enough to frighten me. Right, Dave. <laughs> and I am pleasantly surprised. What the bar? Both for Dave. <laughs> Hello there, guys, and welcome back to Coaster Hype. Troy here. And today we are not at a theme park. We are at a scare event in Essex called Cursed. It's home to five mazes, three of which are new this year. It's being dubbed as the Cursed Village this year, uh, as there's sort of a roaming area that's a village, and then there's five mazes coming off of that, all to do with parts of the village. I think there's a doctor's, a sewers, and things like that. I'll know more when I get in there. As I say, it's my first time coming here, so just excited to check out the event. I'm not expecting, obviously, the best event ever in the country. I'm sure that the budget and, and everything like that is um, is not as high as, as something like Fort Park Fright Nights, um, but it'll be it'll be something different, and you know it's only 15, 20 minutes from my house, so it seemed rude not to come down here and check it out. Of course, we're not allowed to film in the mazes, but I'll do my best to get the atmosphere uh, and get some reviews as I come out of those five mazes. Right, let's get in the event and check out 2024 Cursed. <laughs> So I'm in, I've got my ticket scanned and you get given this nice little maze pass which lets you into each maze the one time. Uh, even just coming through that train station bit there was a couple actors and a couple with scares as well. So start as you mean to go on. We have the main hub area here in the middle um, and then all the mazes sort of on the outside here as well as some food vans. We've got Oink Barbecue over there and we'll be grabbing some dinner in a bit. Um, and I believe that's a bar. So I've just come out of my first maze, The Harvest, and I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, the story was basically the farm, um, we've gone in and we're trying to destroy the, you know, their farm, their, all their food and everything. Um, so we had the angry farmers and weird rat people basically attacking us. Um, some standout moments in there, not only was the actors' enthusiasm, I'm surprised they've still got their voice if they're doing that all the time. Um, there was an electric chair scene at the end where we got to see someone basically getting killed, which was really cool. Uh, and also a giant inflatable sort of tunnel. You know, one of those claustrophobic things where you've got to squeeze through. And that went on for a good minute. So that was a standout point for me. And do you know what? I didn't expect that from this event. Granted, we do have a lot of metal fences with tarpaulin, but the actors really carried that uh, and made that a good maze. Good scares in there as well. So the next one is going to be called The Clinic and it's Doctor's Fiend. So I've just come out of maze number two at The Clinic and that one, I have to say, was a tier above the last. The story with this one being that we found the medicine to eternal life and of course that meant test subjects and zombies. So getting chased around this facility really good lighting and smoke effects in there actors again going 110 percent really making it what i'm really liking about these mazes especially on that last one is they both got a big intro scene with an actor giving you the story and they also have a big finale scene that one even took a photograph which you could buy at the end as well i uh, didn't buy it but i did look shocked uh, i'll tell you now uh, really good maze uh, i'm excited to try the other three Oh, the next maze we're going to check out here is the Cursed Hotel. So let's see what's going on in here. <laughs> what camera's that? That's enough to frighten me. Right, <laughs> Be careful, kids. Thank you. We're going to eat about, be careful. Yeah, me, yeah. Don't worry about him, me. <laughs> So I've just come out of my third maze, the Cursed Hotel, also known as Blood First. And now I know why it was given that name. And that's because there are vampires in the hotel hunting you down. So that's the story behind that one. Um, really cool maze, some really good jump scares in there with sort of metal clanging and things like that. There was quite a few scenes in there where you had to sort of push through some cloths uh, and, and basically get chased. Uh, which was quite good fun and also some arcade machines which was nice to see uh, some props in there as well. Overall very good maze, I'm going to rate it just below the clinic but still very strong. What a beast of a hot dog. Now for the first returning maze, sewers. Supposedly it's got updated scenes according to one of the roaming actors. 
but uh, I don't know what it looked like originally, so it'll all be new for me. So let's get ourselves into the sewers. So I've just come out of my fourth maze, sewers. Uh, interesting maze, had a, a weird start. We started off in the toilet cubicles that had been, let's say, destroyed. Um, and then we got jump scared and basically just sent down the sewers. There wasn't as much story in that one. Uh, it was just getting sort of attacked by people in the sewers. Um, loads of sparks and lights and things. I will say the scenery in there wasn't as good as sort of the clinic. Uh, still really good scares and of course the actors going in. So I'm going to put that one probably in last place at the moment, moving into the final maze, The Haunting. I've heard some good things about this uh, from people whilst walking around and in the queues. So right here next to the axe throwing, we've got the final maze, The Haunting. From the outside is definitely the most themed attraction so far tonight. So I've just come out of my fifth and final maze here, The Haunting, which was a masked maze, uh, as I, I've heard from other people in the queues of the other mazes. Now, these mazes are quite hard to do right because you can't actually see, so the set design, which, you know, a lot of the mazes with me, I enjoy the sets, I enjoy seeing the actors and the makeup and stuff is gone automatically. Uh, and it's all relying on those senses. So the feeling and the hearing. And I'll, you know, I'll give them their due in there. They were very good at that. There was the touch of the hand, there was a stroking of the face. Um, and also we had the theme there of sort of a nunnery. So we had, you know, like at the beginning, some nuns giving us an introduction, loads of paintings of like evil nuns on the wall. And then on the way out, a devil basically uh, jump scaring us. I also quite like that our mask was not a hood that needed to be washed. It was one of these single use COVID masks. So it's good to see they're getting their uses out of those because uh, there's obviously a lot of those hanging around still these days. But yep, that was the fifth maze. What the hell? Absolutely jump scared. By, have you got a name character? Have you got a character name? I am Dave Nepal, the local Dave, mayor. The local mayor? I'm the mayor of this town. Of Cursed Village? Of Cursed Village, yes. I bought the clinic, especially for people like yourselves. That's good, yeah. I've been in there today. It was, uh, it's nice, it's, nice surgery. I tell you, there, you yeah. probably needed to sort yourself out, didn't you? Yeah, there was a few things I needed but to go don't forget, in. if you do need to stay overnight, we do have a lovely hotel. Yeah, I've yeah. I've seen lots of people go in. I just haven't seen many come out. As your mayor, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made upgrades to the village and one of them was the bar was there not a bar here before no there was the first year we've had a bar oh exciting stuff so yes so if you want the bar vote for dave vote for all right keep voting for dave next election have a lovely evening thank you <laughs> Even coming out there, you get to go through one last little maze with a few actors um, and loads of, you know, red hanging things in the way to push through. You know, really good event. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'll give a full review in a second uh, to end the video when I get back to the car. So I'm back in the car after my night at Cursed Village in Essex. And wow, it was some good fun. I'll tell you that now. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. I was expecting it to be quite low budget local event. To be honest, you've got to give them their due. Some of those mazes were top tier, especially the clinic. In terms of the ratings, I'm going to put clinic at the top, followed closely behind by the, the blood harvest or the hotel one. Then we've got the probably the harvest or haunt. Mm, and then the haunt, I think, just because there was no set, obviously that's part of it. You know, they were tickling my face and things like that. I think I got cut off by Dave the Mayor actually talking about that one. Um, and then sewers there at the bottom. It, it wasn't as strong as the others. It's still a good maze. Three good things about this event was the fact that every scene had sort of a start and an end. I've said it before. Even walking into the event is a little maze and walking out again, a little maze. That's a nice touch uh, just, you know, to, to bring you into the mood and then to finish it off on a high. The second good thing I would say is the interaction with the group. They were picking people out. It felt a bit, um, it felt a bit London Dungeon-esque in that they would like, you know, pick on people, 
uh, and the story at the start, you know, like they tell you to gather around and even halfway through the maze, they'd say, right, everyone gather around and have a little 30 second to a minute sort of scene in there. So I really enjoyed that about these mazes as well. The third thing um, I'm impressed about this event is the fact that the, the actual site itself doesn't look too big when you walk in. You can see like all five of the mazes, uh, you know, the bar area and the vans and you're thinking, okay, it's a, it's a bit of a smaller event, but the mazes themselves, they aren't short at all. They managed to pack in a good amount of maze. Uh, I'd say probably all of them were at least three to five minutes long, which was the perfect amount of time. You didn't feel like you were being cut short. Uh, some mazes uh, in other places you go in and you feel like, oh, is that it? I, you know, I'm at the exit already. I didn't get that with any of those five mazes. So I have to give them their due. And in terms of use of space, you've also got tunnels. There was a lot of ducking going on, um, following the rope in the haunt there as well. There was a lot of corners, which made it more entertaining. Uh, and of course, I mentioned it, the first maze to harvest had that sort of airbag, uh, claustrophobic, um, you know, tunnel going on, which was, you know, unique. The actors especially were putting in the work tonight. Even the roaming ones coming over and making, you know, making talk with people in the queue lines. I'd appreciate that. Uh, and also the crowd, everybody there was having a good time. Uh, I spoke with a few different groups whilst I was queuing um, and everyone was, you know, was enjoying it and getting scared, which is what it's all about. So it's a successful event as far as I'm concerned. I will be coming back. Um, and there's, you know, that's all there is to say, really. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. What the hell?